Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Bandletail, a League of Legends story. It just started thunderstorming here, which is super fun. So we're standing here in our prepared party, which was a failed party at the end of the last episode. But we did save before we started, so we have all the preparations made. We're going to try the party again, but not just yet. We have a few other things we want to try to do first. We've got a few skills we need to upgrade and some other things that we really should try to get done first and see if we can make this party a little better than it has been. Okay, so we're going to start out by going into our skill tree here and unlocking this casting press 2, which we need to make the quick set rock paste that we need to upgrade our flask table to level 2 which is apparently what we need to progress. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade a couple other things too, like this workbench carpet upgrade that's gonna let us carry, uh, it's gonna open up another space for us to carry another multi-tool at the same time. We'll be able to fit three in our pocket at once instead of just two. We're also gonna unlock this seed crafter too that's gonna allow us to make a lot of other kind of seeds than just the beet seeds that we've been doing. Did I do it? No? Okay. So we're gonna unlock that. And I think we're gonna go ahead and unlock the spider hunting as well. Since we have a lot of stuff, uh, because we do need spider webs in order to make the quick set rock paste. I'm gonna unlock this leg too. I'm not sure if we build that ourselves or what. And I guess if we're gonna spider hunt, we might as well raise some spiders too so we can be getting those spider webs. And we'll go ahead here under the magic and unlock the charge workbench too also because we are gonna need some batteries for some things coming up. So we used up quite a few of our orbs there. Let's see, what does the big flag strand do? I was thinking we might need some new stuff for our parties uh, to maybe boost, but I think what we need to do is just find where we can buy those groove spinners. Okay, so first order of business is upgrade the flask to workbench. And in order to do that, we need to make some quick set rock paste. So let me find out where we do that. Uh, I believe we have to upgrade this guy first. Casting press two, for which we need some of that durable rope. Okay, and we can make that here if we, wait a minute. We need a leaf aura, right? Where did we make that? <laughs> Try to remember where we make everything. Okay, there's the reinforced thread. So it looks like we don't have any spider webs on hand right now. So we're gonna have to figure out where we get those. But I think, oh, spider trap. Let's go ahead and just make one. And we can add some spiders to our little bug house collection later. Okay, so once we get spiders, then we can make the spider webs. Okay, so we need to do that. We got some spider chow we can make. Durable rope. We just need the leaf aura. And what is that, the magic thread? Reinforced thread which we can't make right now because we need spider webs. So I guess our first job in this whole journey is going to be to find some spiders. So we do have one idea of where we can look for those. Let's take our backpack and we're going to head over to Yarnville. Now in order to get there, <laughs> we have to come here first and then make our way to the big portal, which I think we're going to be changing out this leg soon because this one doesn't ever seem to want to go fast. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Just remembered something, so let's go into our pockets so we can equip, whoops, we can equip another tool so that we have three in our pocket at once, which is super helpful. Okay, and then the other thing here is, um, guys, we can expand our pocket space for just three leaves. So let's do that. And then that one takes three yarn. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, 
We have to actually have it in our pocket. Okay, we'll get some yarn in our pocket and increase that again because extra pocket space is always a good thing. Oh, you know what? Actually, we gather some yarn right here. So let's just pick it up on the way <laughs> and then we'll be able to get that more pocket space. So thank you again, Jim, in the comments for letting me know <laughs> and gently reminding me uh, that that's something that we can do. Yay. Oh, and we can upgrade again, but we have to, again, okay. We have to have it in our pocket. So we have that. We'll just have to get it out of our storage here in a few minutes. Um, where are we going? Let's check with Frankel because we're supposed to be able to buy groove spinners somewhere. But I don't ever see them in his, uh, you know what's going to be really easy if we just buy three of these right here. Instead of having to put our house down and get it out of our storage. So I don't know how we buy the groove spinners because if we talk to him, he talks about them. But we can't buy them from him yet. All right, so let's get back in our pocket here and do this other upgrade. We won't have to empty our pockets so often. Um, okay, we don't have cloth on us right now. <laughs> we're going to have to open up for that one probably. But we, we want to get up to the cave, um, which is not this way. <laughs> we'll remember how to get places. we got to go this way because it's up next to Gramps' house. The little soggy grotto. I think this is where we're going to find the spiders. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe in here. Um, or maybe it's at any place where we've seen the little bug lights. That could be. Let's just take a quick peek around. All right, maybe that's what we need to do. We'll go look for some bug lights. I'm not going to grab any of this other stuff at the moment. We do have quite a bit in our inventory already. We just need to catch some spiders, <laughs> which sounds really yuck. Ooh, let's grab these glow nanas while we're here, I think. We can always use more of those for our food stands. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, vandal spider. Okay, let's put the trap there. We're gonna set our backpack down for just a second. And I think it's in here, maybe this one. We have cloth. We just need three to expand our pocket space again. Okay. This little cursor likes to jump around on me. Okay, so we, we can expand it even further, but we're gonna, um, well, you know what? <laughs> let's just let's just do it while we're right here. I think there might be clay over here. Nope, must be in the one outside. We need three clay in our pocket to expand it. Okay. Let's do it. And then Oh, three rubber bands. Do we want to spend three of our magic bands on that? Our loops? I don't think so. Um, oh, in fact, we need to collect one right there because it's done. Get a rubber loop. So next time we have things charged up, we need to charge some of those magic loops too. Let's go over here for a second. Okay, do we do this here? Seed Crafter 2, we can upgrade this right now. We only have one red spice, so we will need to go to Inspiration Isle to get some more of that. Well, let's go ahead and upgrade that one. And then this one, look at all the different seeds we can do. But they have to be on a leaf aura. Okay. Oh, we can make glow nana seeds. Flame blossom seeds, prism apple seeds. Okay, that did open up a lot. 
I guess for right now we'll just plant another beet seed. Might as well collect some beets while we're right here too. So we definitely don't want to be running out of those. Oops. Just takes a second. <laughs> okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and collect these glow nanas too. Ooh, and we're down to just one leaf bowl, guys, so we probably need to make some more of those at some point. Okay, let's see. What else can we make here? We can do a rich seed bed, which requires this fertilizer, which has to be made at a flask bench too. So that's another reason we've needed the flask bench too, to make that fertilizer. So we can go do uh, one more of the lectures at the university and get that cute little tomato beret. So why don't we, why don't we run over to Inspiration Isle? I think I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Where did we put our little spider trap? There's no spider there yet. So let's run over to Inspiration Isle and gather some red spice. Okay, here we are. And the red spice trees are right around here. But they don't have anything on them? It's got the little circle above it, like... Okay, here we go. Here's some. Yeah, I wonder how long that takes to grow back. Surely it's not a one-time <laughs> deal. Oh, what is the... Uh, the Hungry Hilltop is waiting on something. Yeah, we gotta have the flask bench too to make that too. I'm pretty sure. What, what do we fish for over here? Gragra's mug. We can actually fish for this now because of those um, fish hooks that we got. So let's try that. See if we can do it. Caught that pretty quick. We're starting to get the hang of this portal fishing thing. All right, so we can add that to our collection now um, for one of our lectures at some point. Okay, what is this? Delivery bug station. Nothing yet. Do we see any other spice trees around here that we can get something from? No. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't get very far with the red spice, did we? Let's go set our house down for just a second. If I can find where that was again. I think we had to, <laughs> I think we had to go up, back up here. because we're gonna make some fertilizer but it might be it might be the flask 2 workbench we need to make that as well let's just check let's see fertilizer oh here it is yeah, Flask 2 workbench. So many of the things we need are on the Flask 2 workbench, so I don't know why it's taken us so long <laughs> to get this going. Um, okay, so we're working on trying to get the durable rope, for which we need the reinforced threads, for which we need the spiders. So let's go... Back to Yarnville and check our spider trap. Okay, we're back. And we probably need to start keeping our eye on our portal yarn because we have been using the little portals quite a bit. Let's go find our little trap. See if we got any spiders yet. I think it was right here. And we do. We will take that. Might as well... Whoop. Put the trap back down. 
see if we can make a little home for these guys. So we need to build another bug hutch. Which we'll put here. Okay. So build that. Put our little spider inside. And then give them oh wait they have to be on an aura what aura is that adhesive aura well we have okay this is getting complicated do we have the adhesive aura let's find it okay looks like in order to get the adhesive aura we need to upgrade our magic conductor to magic conductor 2 which we're going to need some stuff from ingvar for looks like plus some glass which I think we have some glass so let's go ahead and unlock that Ooh, this is turning into a mess <laughs> all right we're gonna have to go see Ingvar on Gadgetin okay we're back on Gadgetin I'm just kind of sparing you guys all the travel time today because there's a lot all right let's go talk to Ingvar Ingvar is down here. Oh, might as well grab these while we're right here. Always a good idea. Um, wait a minute. We went the wrong way. Here we go. I'm pretty sure we can buy this metal that we need from him. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just get two of these and two of these. Oh, whoop, he only has two of those. Whoa, those were expensive. Okay, but we should be able to build what we need now. Let's actually just go down to this spot. Since it's right here. And unroll our carpet. Okay, and we needed to upgrade, which one was it? <laughs> the magic conductor, which is which one? That's the motion conductor. Whoops, oh, is the magic conductor this little box one on the end? Yes, okay. So how do we upgrade that one? We must have to do it over here. Let's see here, workbench carpet. Is that a new carpet? I guess let's put that in. And then... Okay, let's see, magic conductor two. So is that giving us a separate item? Yes, it is. But I think once we have that, that we can remove the magic conductor one because two should do everything that one did. Oh, we're not gonna be able to move that until we build it probably. Okay, so let's move that where the other one was. And turn it around. Okay. <laughs> Now, sometimes when we do these things, by the time we get it made, I can't always remember why we were making it. So <laughs> let's go see. Oh, we needed it so we could get the sticky aura, right? So we might need to build another one in here. Are we gonna have enough stuff to do that? Um, wait, we're... Yeah, because it needs to be next to the spider thing. Let's see. Okay, we can build another one. Magic Conductor 2. We'll put it next to the spiders. Okay. We're getting this. <laughs> okay, so this has to be... Wait a minute. That is not showing... 
the one that, wait. In the skill tree, it shows that it can project. Oh, we haven't unlocked the aura yet. Okay, whoops. Okay, so let's go over here and unlock the auras. Wow, our orbs are going fast, you guys. Okay, so now we can make the adhesive aura, except in order to do that, we need a battery. <laughs> okay, this is very complicated. And where do we build a battery? We're gonna have to go out here and look. Whoops, I think I went to the wrong table. Okay, we need to build a battery. Okay, there it is. Charge workbench two, which we need the rock paste stuff for. So we still gotta work on flask bench one. Okay, I'm getting very confused here. All right, let's um, let's go back up here and see what we need for flask workbench two. We need the quick set rock paste. I feel like we're starting over from the beginning of the episode. Okay, where do we make the quick set rock paste? We make it at the casting press too, which we need the rope to make. In order to make the rope, we make the rope here? No, we need the rope. We make the rope here, but we were missing something. What we were missing, okay, what we're missing is the thread that we make from the spider webs. Wait, we can make a groove spinner? Oh, okay. We're gonna make some groove spinners. Getting distracted because I'm like so lost on the other <laughs> order of events. We'll come back to it. We are gonna get it done, but we do need some groove spinners and we can get that done. So let's go. What did we need to make that? Some bouncy balls and I know where to get those from. So let's go back to Bandle City. We're back and because, because we're about to spend some of our stars, I'm just gonna set this down and open up our vending so we can be collecting some more stars while we're going to spend these. <laughs> we just need to go talk to Bjorn because Bjorn is selling the little bouncy balls that we need to make what we're trying to make. So we're gonna get up here to the gunner's camp and buy some bouncy balls from Bjorn. No, where'd he go? Wait a minute. No, oh, there, there it is. Okay, <laughs> I got lost for a second. Bjorn, we need some bouncy balls, friend. Oh, he has portal yarn too. A hundred for one star, is that right? Okay, we only need, I mean, we don't need that many. We'll just buy five. Is he really selling a hundred portal yarn for one star? Oh no, it's a hundred stars. It's one star each. Okay, well we're down to 47 because we've been using quite a bit. How many stars do we have? 104? Let's buy 30. Just so we don't start running out. back down here. And we can at least make one thing. <laughs> Which was what? The groove spinners. Yes. Okay. Let's make some groove spinners. Goodness. And then we can at least take those to Lulu. I don't know if we, like, what else we would use those for, but let's just make a few more. I don't know. Maybe that's what we're lacking for that party. Okay, we don't have enough resources. We ran out of bouncy balls. That's what it is. Okay. Well, we know an easy place to get them now. And our orbs are almost full, so we're going to go empty those. While we're here, we might as well make a quick meal for our pet. 
We're gonna make some more leaf plates too, actually, because we're running really low on those. And you don't want to be running out of those in a food stand. Okay, so let's make a little snack. We'll do a rainbow egg this time for our little Poro pets. Uh, because I think every so often when we feed them, uh, they give us more orb spaces, maybe? I haven't quite figured that out. Doesn't hurt though, because it fills it up a little bit at least. Okay. Let's check on our... Alright, well we got 51 stars so far over here. Let's collect those. We've still got plenty of stuff in there to sell. We can't feed the spiders until we can make the adhesive aura, and we can't make the adhesive aura until we can make batteries, and we can't make batteries until we get the flask 2 workbench going, which needs the quick set rock paste, which needs the spider webs. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, that doesn't seem right. It does need spider webs. Wait a minute. Doesn't this seem counterintuitive? We have to upgrade that machine outside. We need to figure out where we can get spider webs without raising them ourselves, I guess. All right, we need to make some of this reinforced thread, which we also need spider webs for. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, we're gonna make a couple more spider traps because evidently if we catch a spider, we can just turn the spider into silk here at the workbench. So let's try that. Um, I'm going to, I'm just gonna leave that open I guess and we'll go find some spots to place these traps Let's See if we can catch some more spiders to process into silk Because <laughs> we we need spider silk before we can get any further So here's a spot we can set a spider trap I think there's a couple more up here And I'll come back to you when I have some spiders. Okay, well, while I was running around looking looking at stuff, um, we're here inside Vigar's hideout and we can go fishing for this light stick. So we're gonna do that. Takes a little practice. Oh darn. <laughs> Takes a lot of practice. There we go. Okay, so now we've got KDA's light stick too to add to our collection. Cool. Alright, I'm still working on getting spiders. Okay, I have got two spiders in my pocket. We're coming to the workbench and we can turn these spiders straight into spider webs. So let's do that. Okay. So the first, first of all, <laughs> we need those spider webs in order to make the reinforced thread. So let's make some of that. And I always forget how this works, so now we're gonna have to wait some more. Okay, we've got some reinforced thread now, and we should be able, oh, whoops. We should be able to turn it into durable rope, but we need the aura. Um, so let's see here. We gotta move a couple things around again. Because we, we swapped with our charge workbench so we could charge our magic loops back up. So let's get this back over under the aura. Okay. Oh, gotta come around this way. We need... Wait, so does this one not do the leaf aura anymore? Okay, so we still need a magic conductor one in order to get the aura that we need. So we're gonna have to build another one of those. Let's just put it down here for a second. 
gonna have to move some things again. This is this is the most complicated <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Okay, uh, let's get this built. We're not even gonna be able to get to this. Okay, we're gonna have to move it. We're gonna have to move this one over. There's so much stuff on this carpet now. Uh, we did just unlock another carpet, so we might have to figure out what that is. Okay, here is the one, and we want to make sure that it's facing that bench. Okay. <laughs> Let's... I thought that the new one was going to be able to do all the old ones and the new ones, but evidently that is not the case, so you have to have one of each. Okay, now we can make the durable rope. So let's make some of that. We're gonna go ahead and make as much of it as we can, which was not very much. <laughs> okay, let's collect our little... Whoops. We'll take this. Oh, maybe we can make one more now. Yeah, we can make one more now. Okay. And we needed the durable rope in order to make what? The casting press too. So let's make the casting press too. That's done. Now in the casting press too, we can make quick set rock paste with a flame two aura, which probably comes from our new Okay, we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do some rearranging again. Um, let's see here. I need that to be next to that. Oh wait, we have extra room now. Okay, yeah, let's move this out here. So that's what that addition did. It made this bigger. So let's put this out here. That's gonna be super helpful. Okay, that's what we need, I think. I didn't even notice that this carpet got bigger. Hello. Okay, so what? Uh, we need a flame two aura. Where does the flame aura come from? It's this thing, isn't it? Heat two aura. We already have it. Okay, so let's move that over. We'll just put it right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're starting to get this, guys. We're starting to get this. All right, let's do the heat two aura. And then we can make quick set rock paste, but we can only make one because we only have one spider web. But I'll go check the spider. Um, actually, while that's cooking, why don't we go check the spider traps again? If we can remember where they are. And we can make some more really fast. Just reset those. Whoops. Um, we can make another one really quick before our aura runs out. Let's see. Nope, we're not trying to make that. We need to turn our spider into spider web. So we can make some more quick set rock paste. Yeah. We can make two more. Okay. Cool. Um, that looks like it's going to last a while, so I'm actually going to run up and get our other spider out of his trap, too. Because we want to take as much advantage of this as possible while we have... Um, while we have it set up. So let's let this finish, and then I think we can make a couple more. Because we did need the quick set rock paste for a few different things. So, But the first thing we're going to do with it is upgrade that flask bench. All right, so let's go ahead and make two more. Cool. All right, let's go upgrade the flask bench. If we have all the stuff now, which we do, yay. Okay, and now, <laughs> what did we even need to make with that? Paint, we definitely need to make paint, and then the herbal mixture, which we're out of vines, so we're gonna need to go to Greensprout Grove and get some more vines. And we can make the fertilizer now that we need to get the little tomato beret. So we're going to do that too. All right. So let's go ahead and make the paint since we have the stuff for that. Um, and I think we needed that for a lecture as well. All right. Our orbs are almost full. So let's get those emptied.
Okay, we got that. So what did we say we needed? <laughs> we need to go get some vines and we need to make some fertilizer, which we can do right here because we can turn on the growth aura right now. So let's make some fertilizer. And then we're right near the university. So let's grab, what else did we need for that one? Let's go check. Okay, we got our other quick set rock paste done over here. Let's go ahead and collect that. Yay, hooray. We're gonna leave that all for a second while we go up here and see what we need for that lecture. Uh, we need to grab a bee and the, the weird little pumpkin. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Find those in our storage somewhere, which we should know where they are. Uh, we might be able to clear this door a little bit more now too that we have more space okay so i think the pumpkin is in here yes whoops so swap that over and then the beets are in here just need to get one in our pocket <laughs> it takes a minute okay cool Let's go do a lecture. It's always fun to get a new hat. Feels like a good reward after all that drama just to get <laughs> our flask workbench upgraded. I Guys, I'm sorry. I think that's pretty much going to be this whole episode is just working on the whole process to get that done. But look, we're being rewarded with an adorable tomato beret. Let's put it on. There we go. How cute is that? <laughs> okay, what else can we do here? Do we have... Okay, we have... Uh, we can craft, I think, this musical instrument, which is what? A simple strummer. We do have the stuff to do it, so maybe we'll do that. But um, before we do, let's just check everything else. Uh, I don't see any there. Yeah, that's stuff we're gonna have to work on. Okay, so, but also we have this piece and we have uh, some magic ink. So let's go grab those and we can give that lecture at least. And that one will give us some more of the, the rainbow stars that we need for upgrading our house and stuff. So let's take this away. So that was in here also, I think. Yeah. That one. We needed that and what? I forgot already. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, the, the fancy ink. Okay, we know where that is. That is in our little magic chest. Whoops. Hello. Slow down. Um, okay, so that's one of these we need. Okay, so we can get another lecture done. Let's go do it. Maybe we can unlock a new decoration thing for our house. The art lecture. Done. Okay, so we got 10 fallen stars for that, which means I think we can unlock another decorative thing for our house. So let's go and do that. Which one do we want? Do we want the Lulu set? I think the Lulu set might be fun. We don't want Vigar. Oh, we got some extra special ones up here if we get 15 stars, but I'm not that patient. I feel like we need to be rewarded for everything we've gone through today. <laughs> so let's get the Lulu home set and see what new stuff we can do with that. Uh, for our backpack color, the Lulu palette is a nice bright pink. So let's go with that. And then we'll see what new decorations we can do inside. The wall color. Wow, that's really red, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know what? It's new, so let's do it. The wall pattern. What what pattern? Oh, that pr a pretty little leafy pattern on the wall. That's nice. So we'll go with that. Actually, do we like the Teemo color with the Lulu design, I think. And then we still don't have any other options for flooring. Let's see what the Lulu bed looks like. 
Oh, that's fun. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, look at the fun little magical plants. Stained glass window. Yeah, we'll just change all this stuff. Oh, look at the little rug. So cute with the flowers. All right. <laughs> We're having fun. Oh, I like those windows too. And then no new options for Poro, but maybe we'll switch him up to the little mustache guy for a while just for funsies. Okay, nice. So we've done some fun home decorating. We've got a new hat. We have finally got some of the things that we needed to progress. We're going to collect some more stars from our vending situation and maybe close that up. Okay, so is there anything else that we can do? Why don't we run over and take these groove spinners to Lulu? We did make some groove spinners, so why don't we run over? That's something easy that we can get done. I'm not even going to try to roll this up because I can't see the bead. We're just going to pick this thing up <laughs> and uh, go see Lulu and give her these groove spinners. Try to make a little bit of progress today. And we're going to take the long way just because uh, we're trying not to use up our portal yarn if we don't have to. Okay, back on Inspiration Isle, across the piano bridge, and I think Lulu was up here. Oh yeah, here we go. There she is. All right, here you go, Lulu. Done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna be the best teacher ever. Okay, what's the best starting song? Or should we start with picking a school uniform? Where did you learn to dance? Dancing is second nature to me. Or wait, is magic second? Which one is third? Nope, I can't pick, it's a tie. But it's somewhere between second and third nature for sure. Who knows how many other natures I've got? What about you? Oh, uh, I like to dance, but I've never formally studied or anything. If you ever wanna learn some new moves, I'd be happy to teach you. Really? I'd love that. Hear that, Pix? Our school is growing by the day. Think Lulu can teach me to dance too? I don't see why not. Bet you've never seen a sock doing the cha-cha before. Okay, we made some progress on one of our badges. Yay, <laughs> we're starting to get somewhere. Okay, um, next is we need to bring an herbal mixture to the Hungry Hilltop and we need to figure out how we make that herbal mixture. And since we're over here, why don't we just zip over to the Hungry Hilltop? Which is right through, whoops, through here. And remind ourselves how we make that. You know what? I think we have one spider trap left, so why don't we just put it, whoops, I put the wrong trap down. Can I pick it back up? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll get another lightning bug. Okay, let's just remind ourselves what the Hungry Hilltop wanted. Oh, yes, yes. That herbal mixture. We have our backpack on us. Let's remind ourselves how we get the herbal mixture. Because if it's something we can do right now, really quick, let's do it. Um, I think, was it, it, oh, it's at this table maybe? Oh, we do need to make a simple strummer, which we have all the stuff for. We just need the one aura. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Let's just go ahead and get that made since we know we need it. Okay. And then, but where do we make that... Oh, we can make a sapling leg too, but we don't have, okay. We don't have the, the reinforced thread. I'm going to have to work on getting some of that built up before next time, I think. Okay, so that is not where we make, where do we make that potion? Why don't we check over here? Because that's the easiest way to find out where we make this fertilizer potion is at the flask workbench too. So let's go check in there and see what we're missing 
to do that. Oh, wait, no, we need the herbal mixture. Vines, we need the vines. Okay, let's go get the vines. Because that is something easy we can do. And we're just going to portal this time. Because it's quicker. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Green Sprout Grove. To get some vines. So we can make the herbal mixture for the Hungry Hilltop. So we can feel like we've accomplished something today. <laughs> we just have to remember where those vines are. And I think they are... Nope, I was probably going the right way in the first place. They're not down here. Oh, here they are up here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting a little turned around sometimes. Okay, let's gather some vines. We were out, so we might as well go ahead and get several. Don't like running out of stuff. Okay. We can set our house down right here. Uh, it was at the flask workbench, so let's go in there. And we can make the herbal mixture. Done. Now we just have to go back and feed it to the Hungry Hilltop. So let's go do that. The portal's right here. Here we are, we have the stuff. Let's feed it, see if we can calm down the stomach of the hungry hilltop. You're okay, from now on, no more spicy stuff, only healthy food. Out of the question, your health is our priority. Mr. Brunwasser, about our new menu. Right, now that you've cured Miss Hilltop, would you like to be part of our new endeavor? What's the endeavor? While you were curing the Hungry Hilltop, we prepared a whole new menu of healthy food. None of the dishes were, forgive the expression, half-baked. Works of culinary art only. Awesome! In fact, we're so proud of them, we want to share with all of Bandel City. Enter Hungry Hilltop Delivery. How can I help? First things first, we need a place for a delivery station. Well, your hilltop is kind of small. That's why we ask you. You seem experienced with impossible problems. I'll see what I can do. Psst, there's no space. It's not like we can make an island bigger. So, let's just grab the recipes and run. I'm sure there's a solution. How are you gonna deliver the orders? Chop? Ahem. <clears throat> When I was traveling Bandle City, I saw gorgeous mechanical bugs dancing to music. Maybe their makers know how to make delivery bugs. They live in Gadgeton. Will do. Okay. So now we should have... No, we still have to th throw the new friend fest at Gadgeton. We still need to talk to Gilly. We still need to talk to Liana. But we have made some progress today. Ooh, let's grab this red spice while we're right here. go ahead and gather some of that okay guys we're gonna stop right there today <laughs> it's been quite the ride hasn't it some of these things just have so many steps to them it takes a while to get through it so it kind of feels like we didn't make progress but we totally did make progress we got the groove spinners to Lulu we got the hungry hilltop fed we've got more things going on we're going to work on finding Liana and Gilly in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're still enjoying this series. Please leave a like if you are. And if you like these kind of cozy games, go ahead and subscribe as well so you can join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.